The Mitsubishi Pajero arrived at the finish of creation this year, finishing a four-decade run as a demonstrated, proficient four-wheel drive. While it felt its age lately, for quite a while the Pajero was one of the principal family 4x4 junkies accessible available, with the Mitsubishi battling in a similar class as the Toyota Land Cruiser and Nissan Patrol. Confronted with shut boundaries, deals of the Pajero saw a resurgence in the last piece of 2020 as Aussies surged out to purchase SUVs equipped for taking them the nation over with a band close behind. In light of that, we contemplated whether Mitsubishi hadn't shut the book on the Pajero excessively early and began envisioning what it would resemble if the Japanese vehicle organization chose to put resources into a pristine model. Our occupant Photoshop craftsman Theophilus Chin took motivation from Mitsubishi's present plan language, however with the huge, made-right measurements presented by the Pajero family throughout the long term. In any case, to control the patch, we need to look outside of Mitsubishi's present reach. With reports the impending Toyota Land Cruiser 300 series will be fueled by a 3.5-liter half-breed Super Petroleum V6 powertrain, it's a good idea to look to the more extensive Renault Mitsubishi Nissan Alliance range for something on par. Maybe not the conspicuous decision, but rather on paper it's a good idea to single out the R35 age Nissan GTR's 3.8-liter twin Super V6, which is unequivocally suspected to be presented with a gentle crossover framework in the coming months. Indeed, even in a detuned state, it would have a very sizable amount of force and force to keep the SUV moving. A turbocharged hybridized rendition of the new Nissan Pathfinder's 3.5-liter normally suctioned V6 could likewise be a satisfactory decision. Mitsubishi hasn't indicated plans to resuscitate the Pajero, making it improbable we'll see anything looking like these renders for years to come.